Welcome to Job Skills Share. Today I'm making a quick real world example video uh, just to show if you're new to IT, uh, this might benefit you. So, uh, the question is that I will call it a ticket because we always kind of relate it to our course. So, let's say a user sent me a ticket that hey, um, in this conference room we have an old computer, it's really slow, and tomorrow we have a president coming in and he's doing his. PowerPoint presentation is there something you guys can do now two things if uh, if you're working in a company you're new to IT and that computer is new you might just go and turn around some tools on it to clean it up make it a little bit faster but if you know that it's an old computer then what are some alternatives that you have now do you keep uh, a computer that is like a back backup um, a new computers that are like you image them and you keep it for that these kind of calls so sometimes you just keep like you know one or two or three different type of computers uh, and make them on like you know uh, hook them up update them and then once you have this kind of call that this computer is slow you just grab that computer plug it in and no time uh, you wasted no time and that's it you're done with that other uh, way to do this is that sometimes you go and replace users computers like you know yearly or two years you replace uh, older computers with newer ones so the older computers are really not that old um, they might be year old or two years old uh, but compared to the computer that is in the conference room right now uh, we have a better computer so so that could be like Windows 7 uh, Windows 8 uh, whatever it is so you can just grab that computer and plug it out there just update it and then you're good to go and just change the name of the computer so this is the call that we have today uh, I have a call that we have one XP computer in a room we should have replaced it but you know things are busy so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna go grab another old computer which is a better computer than that one and we're just going to replace it update it and this call will be closed so that's a real world example I'm going to show you guys step by step. First I need to do is to grab a computer that is I think a good computer. Um, something behind like you know some of the things that you need to remember is when you replace this computer now this is uh, somebody's old computer. Now I'm not going to be like you know uh, putting a new image or new windows on it because I really want to keep that old information at least more than 30 days um, so I'm not going to touch it I'm just going to change the name of this computer but uh, but make um, but I'll make sure that I update it so that's what we're going to do today make sure you guys remember there's a physical part to it I'm, I'm moving this computer so that's a real world so I'm going to replace this one with uh, XP this is the old computer now make sure you guys uh, uh, save this computer somewhere safe if they need like data or anything but in this case we don't need any data so what I'm going to do I'm just going to unplug this one and put the new one and then I'm going to update it and that's it it's good to put a note out there like you know what was the old computer name and what's the new computer name and date so if there's any other technicians and they're looking to it and go oh there was an old computer name this is the old computer name and this is a new one this is how it got basically changed or if somebody's looking into like uh, um, if somebody's looking into like you know the old uh, computer for a uh, user call and say hey uh, I'm missing this document and they want to go back so they can look into this computer uh, good to have information and that's another physical part you need to plug everything the reason I'm just showing this and recording to kind of give you guys a feel that there's a physical part to it bending down Picking up computers, stuff like that. So you get a great first hand feeling. And that's it. Turn this on. So as you guys can see, this is going to be Windows 7, at least better than Windows XP. All I'm gonna do is to log into this machine and uh, I'm going to change the computer name to a different uh, name and also I'm going to update it and I'll show you guys how to quickly update it without spending too much time 
computer name is changed. I'm going to restart it. And once you log in, then go to patch my PC. And download patch my PC. Run it. And you can see all these needs to be updated. All you gotta do is just perform seven updates. You can put a schedule, I'll do that just because this is a meeting room computer and I don't want to come here again and again. So I'll just do once every five days, silent, include Windows updates, save it, successfully save, perform seven updates. And it will take its time. It's it's all automated, so you don't need to be you don't need to stay here. You can go and do other calls or do something. But you can see how easy it is. Just run these updates, and you're good to go. So basically, this call was um, this was just an example how we do uh, calls in real world, and sometimes you just have to do things um, quickly because you know you don't have too much time. Uh, this was an alternative that we use. And um, hopefully you guys learned something from it. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Thank you.